I've come to speak in conjunction with the British Council about the importance of Muslim women's voices, how they're changing the societies that they're part of and the wider world and how they're doing it through their own activities within their homes, within their families and their communities. We have power available to us, the power to change ourselves and the power to change those around us. And the most powerful tool to do that is the voice. I thought was really good was that the way that Shalina talked about um, voices in all kinds of contexts, not necessarily momentous contexts, you know, just people talking to each other and the importance of women finding their own voice in whatever context. So she has actually developed her own skincare products which comply with halal standards and she's now marketing that not just to Muslim women but any women who feels that they want something that's organic and ethical. It's not necessarily important always to be talking about violence against women or getting women into parliaments. You know that sometimes it's really important just to talk about um, what women do with their hair. It was such a warm response, so I was speaking about the women who are at the cutting edge, the pioneers, as well as those proclaiming that there is a different way to do things. And some of the questions were really fascinating about how this can be adapted into the Irish context, how people can use their voices, but also how that voice will change according to the context that people are living within. Tonight was uh, the finale of uh, the project um, Muslim Women's Voices, which included hijabi monologues and a series of workshops. The partners uh, were trying to uh, break stereotypes, uh, the stereotypes that surround the Muslim women, especially Muslim women who wear the headscarf, trying to move beyond the headscarf um, and uh, to understand the diversity that exists uh, within uh, Islam, within Muslim societies. Normally we, in this country or in this part of the world anyway, tend to have quite um, simplistic notions of what head covering means. I think there's certainly a different historical context for people within Ireland compared to, for example, Britain in terms of the communities, the immigration populations, but also the legal structures are different too and the sense of place and smallness and cosiness, I think actually for me is an opportunity to, for people to feel more connected and more close rather than just being lost into a wider community. And that to me means that when you use your voice, it can actually have a much more profound impact because you've got such a tightened community. You know, her voice is uh, really important uh, for the Muslim women all around the world. Um, so, um, you know, it was a brilliant um, uh, program. I've loved it. It's been so fascinating and there have been so many interesting people, especially the women on the panel who I was um, speaking with. And actually what's really nice is that it was a dialogue, it wasn't just one way and it was great to see that people were taking the food for thought and hopefully they're going to go away and, and think more about it.